Welcome to State of Tech. I'm going to show you how to use Twitterific for your iPhone. So we're going to open up Twitterific, which has been updated for iOS 7, and we're going to see the new layout here. Now right here in the main menu, you see we have all of the tweets for everyone that we're following, and we can scroll through and read all of the tweets, and we can tap on links and hashtags and even usernames when they're mentioned in a tweet. Now in the top right hand corner, if we would hit that button, that's how we can post a new tweet. So if you just wanted to open up the app and post a tweet, you can hit that button in the top right hand corner, type in what you're looking for, so we'll just type in, we can even add hashtags if we wanted to have the hashtag in the bottom right hand corner. We can mention people by hitting the at symbol in the bottom right hand corner. You see how in the bottom as I type in someone's name, it starts populating people's names based upon who I'm following. So if I find one while I'm typing, I'll just tap on it and you see it automatically fills it in on the tweet sheet. Now if I tap on the camera right above the keyboard, it's going to access my photos and I can either use the latest photo, which is going to be the most recent photo on my camera roll, take a photo, which will open up the camera and allow me to take a photo, or choose from my camera library. So tapping on one of those options will go ahead and load the photo in for us. Next to the photo option is the location option, which if we tap on that, it's going to find our current location and use that in our tweet. And if we tap on it again and hit the X, it's going to remove our location from us. And that number 99 in the bottom corner that you're seeing is the number of characters that we have left in our 140 character palette here on Twitter. So if we like this tweet and we like to send it out, we'll just tap tweet in the top right hand corner. It's going to send that tweet out to Twitter. And if we hit close, it's going to go ahead and close that out for us and we can continue viewing our news feed here on Twitterific. Now up in the top menu, you might notice that there is the home button, which is our home feed our app button which is going to show us any mentions that we have and then we have our message button which is going to show us any direct message messages that we have you see in each one of these menus when I get to the top I can pull down to refresh we get that nice little bird animation and if I have any new tweets for this inbox I'll go ahead and do so so you see if I get all the way to the top in my main feed pull down to refresh I get this nice little bar that lets me know I have two new tweets and I can scroll up and read them now if I tap on my profile picture in the top left hand corner, it's going to bring out the side menu. You see it's brought the side menu where I have my name up there at the top. I have tweets, which I can view that here, tap on it again, favorites, which is going to load up all my favorites, search, which I can search for new tweets, people, or history, and I can even view trending hashtags here. So if I were to tap on a trending hashtag, let's just say um, right here the Republicans or even Pandora. So I tap on Pandora and tap search. It's going to show me all of the uh, tweets that have been using the hashtag Pandora that's currently trending. And you see each one is represented with Pandora here in the tweet. Now I can even add the saved search if I'd like to and save it for later and come back to it if I needed to. Today is going to bring me into what's going on today on my Twitter activity. I have three new followers and I don't have any new tweet activity, but if I had any, it would show up here as well. Tap in there again, I have lists, which these are lists that I've created on Twitter to put specific accounts into a list so I can view them with an unobstructed view. So I don't view all of my followers in this list. I'm just viewing specific people that I'm following in a list that I've created. And you can do that over at twitter.com. Tapping in back in this menu, I have the information button in the top right hand corner where if I tap on that, it brings me to my profile and I can view my whole profile, tap on any links, view all the tweets that I've tweeted, coming back out into this menu, I can even view who I'm following, who's following me, favorites, and even mentions here. So if I tap close, I'll come back out into this menu and I'll tap on the side menu again. If I tap on accounts, you can see all of the accounts that I'm signed in with, and this is pulling all of my accounts that I'm signed into on my iOS settings. Now, if I'd like to sign into a different account, I'll tap add account, and it's going to ask me to sign with Twitter to access my Twitter account. Now, if I come back in here and choose a different account, let's say I'll choose state of tech, it's going to load up, ask me for my permission because it needs my password. I'll sign in with Twitter. And you see I'm brought here to the Twitter website where I can sign in and go back into Twitterific. Now tapping on an account is just going to load up your timeline here for your specific account. And so it's going to show your news feed and Twitter feed here for whatever account you've selected. 
Now this contrast button in the middle of the field down here in the bottom, we can choose some options. We can change our font. As I tap through each font, you can see how the application changes and it lets me know what font I'm using up here in the top menu. Once you find the font you like, you can even adjust the size by hitting the big A, which is going to increase the font size for each one of the tweets. Or we can hit the little A, which is going to decrease the font size for each one of the tweets. Now below that we have line spacing where we can increase the spacing of the text between each line. Tap on the right hand side you see the spacing spreads out. Or we can tap on it again and decrease the spread. Now we have light and dark themes. Currently we're in the light theme but if we tap on dark you can see how the theme changes here inside the application giving us more of a dark theme. Maybe this is a little bit easier on your eyes or darker themes do usually tend to save a little bit of battery being that you're not so bright on the display. And next, the font size, we can choose the image size for everyone's profile pictures. We can decrease the size or increase the size here if we'd like to. Hitting back in our profile photo, we'll go into the settings, where it pulls down our settings menu where we can change notifications per account. So I tap on my name, it's checking to see if I have notifications enabled, and I can send push notifications, I have a green check mark. I can show colored symbols where you see the symbols now appear on what each option is going to have. And then I can even choose down here in the bottom what I would like to have pushed to my device. And then I can even send a test notification if I'd like to. Now I'll hit done. It's going to show that menu down and I'll come out here into the side menu again. Then tap on the settings again. I can sync my read position with off, show marker, show and scroll to marker, scroll to marker and choose my service. Now this is going to be beneficial if I have the Twitter if it installed on both my iPad and my iPhone or another iPhone or another iPod touch anything like that it's going to bring me here and if I tap on service I can choose iCloud or TweetMarker now TweetMarker is a different service you'll have to sign up for but iCloud is built into the iOS system so if you use that it's going to sync with iCloud and if you scroll and show to, to marker what that is going to do is it's going to show you that marker, that physical marker you saw when I refreshed the tweet, told me I had new, two new tweets. It's going to always bring me up to that point. So if I'm on my iPhone and I read up to a specific point and I open my iPad, it'll scroll me up to that point that I left off on my iPhone. Or if I just show marker, it's going to show me where I left off, but not scroll me up to there. And then scroll to marker, it's just going to scroll me up there and not show me the marker. Now this is going to be on your own preference, so go ahead and choose the one you like best here. We can choose other services where we can do a bookmark service where we have Instapaper, Pocket, Pinboard, Readability, and Safari Reading List. You see we can bookmark tweets and then send them here to these options. Our reading service, we can choose to make web page easier to read by Instapaper or Readability. And then our image service, whenever we upload an image, we're going to ask where to be sent to. And we can use Twitter, Imagely, Moby Picture, TwitPic, or Dropler. Come back out here, we can show Favestar links if we'd like to. We'll tap on that, and you see the check mark will show up here. We can choose to use sound effects, we can turn that on or off. We can use a unified timeline, which is going to bring about all the timelines for all of our accounts and bring them into one general timeline. And then it's going to detect when we're at night and use our dark theme if we choose to do that. We'll check that if we'd like to. We can tap a view about or get help by tapping on help. Now out here in the main feed, if we were to tap on an actual tweet, I'm going to go ahead and tap on this one for The Verge. You see we have options to reply. If I tap reply, I can reply to them. Go ahead and close that reply out. I can retweet them, favorite them by hitting the star, or those three little buttons. If I hit that, I can show discussion, translate, email, or retweet with a comment. Now if I swipe over to the right, it's going to bring me into the conversation view where I can see all the replies that this tweet has received. And then if I swipe this tweet over to the left, it's going to allow me to quickly reply to that tweet if I needed to. And then again, scroll up to the top, and if I pull down, it's going to refresh all my tweets and show me anything that's new and happening on Twitter. And this is how you use Twitterific in iOS 7.